Did you know that the S&P 500 has generated a return of about 284% since the year 2005? This is about 17.5% annually and is actually about double what the S&P normally returns. Not too shabby at all. With that said, investing in the S&P 500 can make you some good money, but it can never make you filthy rich. So what do you do if you want to be Wolf of Wall Street rich? To do that, you'll definitely want to hear how you can find companies that absolutely trounce the return of the S&P 500. If you find the right company, even a small investment can potentially turn you into a millionaire over time. To name three examples, since the year 2005, Amazon has returned almost 8,000%. Tesla has returned over 16,000%. And Netflix, 33,000%. If you had put a $10,000 investment into the S&P 500 in 2005, then you'd have about... $28,400. Not bad. But if you had spread that $10,000 across these three companies, then today you'd have about $1.9 million. This is the power of investing in innovative companies. Unfortunately, I'm still working out the kinks of my time machine, so I won't be able to send you back to 2005 to invest in Netflix. However, what I can offer you is insight into which companies today have the potential to turn into the next generation of world-changing companies. By buying stock in these companies today, you can potentially set yourself up for success just like you would have if you bought Amazon or Netflix stock in 2005. In this video, we're going to take a look at the stocks that the visionary Kathy Woods of the ARK Innovation ETF is buying like crazy. We'll break down her top 10 holdings and at the end, take a look at her most recent purchases. Before we do, be sure to subscribe to my channel below and tap the bell icon. This way you'll get alerted when we make more videos about potentially game-changing companies we come across. If you're not familiar, Kathy Woods is the woman behind one of the country's most exciting ETFs called ARK Innovation ETF. Not only is she one of the world's most successful female investors, she's one of the world's most successful investors, period. Over the past five years, her fund is up about 476% compared to just 107% for the S&P 500. Anybody who is smoking the return of the overall market like Kathy is definitely worth listening to. Some of the ETF's biggest holdings right now are Tesla, Teladoc, Roku, and Coinbase. If you're wondering how she's able basically to quadruple the S&P's return, here's what her investing philosophy is. Kathy Wood's investing philosophy is all about disruptive innovation. Essentially, they want to discover companies that offer a new product or service that has the potential to change the way that the world works. This is the type of thinking that allows her to uncover Amazon and Netflix-style companies before everyone else knows about them. Examples of life-changing companies are all over. For example, when was the last time that you called a taxi? Probably years. Instead, you're calling Ubers. When you go to book a trip, I bet you visit Airbnb's homepage before Marriott's. And are you really going to pay iTunes $10 to buy Drake's new album when you can stream millions of songs on Spotify for the same amount? Kathy Woods wants to keep investing in companies like Uber, Airbnb, and Spotify that are changing the way we live. Now, let's break down her top 10 holdings. Tesla doesn't really need an introduction. This is Elon Musk's electric car company that's helping propel America to a greener future. Teslas are some of the coolest cars on the market right now. They are incredibly popular, and there are very few people who wouldn't want to buy one if they had an extra $50,000 lying around. This is just part of the reason why Tesla's stock has returned 1,500% over the past five years. Teladoc. Teladoc is the first and biggest telemedicine company in the United States. If you don't know what telemedicine is, it's basically a service where you can get access to a doctor without actually needing to go see a doctor. Instead, you do the entire process online or over the phone. As you can imagine, this was quite valuable during the COVID-19 crisis. Teladoc stock has returned 736% over the past five years. Roku. There's a good chance that you've used Roku's service before, even if you didn't realize it. Roku is a platform that makes it easier for you to watch Netflix, Disney+, Paramount+, or whatever other streaming services out there these days. They offer two products. One is a small stick that plugs into the back of your TV, and the other is their Roku TV. Both of these products make it insanely easy to stream shows, so it's no wonder they're so popular. Roku's stock has returned 1,243% over the past five years. Coinbase. If you ever bought and sold cryptocurrency before, then there's a chance you might have used Coinbase. They make it incredibly easy to buy, sell, and hold different cryptocurrencies. They're also one of the only public companies whose business is entirely based around cryptocurrency. It will be interesting to see how their business grows or shifts as cryptocurrency becomes either more mainstream or more regulated. Coinbase's stock has returned minus 24% since they went public earlier this year.
Unity. Unity is an exciting new video game software company that's known for launching their licensed game engine platform called, wait for it, Unity. This platform is one of the front runners when it comes to creating virtual or augmented reality video games. Since augmented reality could very well be the future of video games, it's no wonder that Kathy Woods wants a piece of them. One thing to note is that Unity has reported a loss every year since 2004. Sometimes this isn't a big deal as they might just be investing money back into their business. However, making a profit is always nice too. Unity's stock has returned 83% over the past five years. Zoom. Sure, I can chat then. Just send me a Zoom meeting link. Was a phrase that you probably heard a lot in 2020. Zoom is best known for providing video conferencing software that absolutely killed Skype. Seriously, does Skype even exist anymore? Zoom's business was made significantly more valuable during the pandemic, and this trend is likely to continue now that people prefer remote working over commuting to the office. Zoom stock has returned 447% over the past five years. Square. Square has a few products that you might know. They have those card readers that plug into your phone where you can swipe a credit card. They have those checkout iPads that make it easy to buy your coffee. And they also own Cash App, which is one of the most popular ways to send money to friends. Everywhere you turn, it seems like Square is there to help you pay for something or send money. And guess what? They're earning a very small commission every time that you pay. Square also lets their users buy Bitcoin on Cash App, which brought in tons of revenue for them in 2020. Square stock has returned 450% over the past five years. Shopify. Shopify is a website that lets you build online stores in seconds. Mm -hmm. If you're like me and have zero idea how to even start building a website, then Shopify would be able to help. They get you up and running in minutes with no coding knowledge necessary. Shopify's stock has returned 3,640% over the past five years. Twilio. Twilio is a cloud communications company that allows software developers to programmatically make and receive phone calls, send and receive text messages, and perform other communication functions using its web service APIs. Cloud communications is an incredibly lucrative business, and Twilio did almost $2 billion worth of business in 2020. Twilio stock has returned 560% over the past five years. Spotify. Are you Team Apple Music or Team Spotify? Even if you're Team Apple Music, it's still a good idea to consider investing in Spotify stock. Spotify revolutionized the music industry by allowing people to listen to any song they want for free or $9.99, if you're rich enough to pay for the adless version. Lately, Spotify has also been investing tons of money into podcasting, which is another rapidly growing industry. They just went public in 2018 and were one of the most anticipated IPOs in recent years. Spotify stock has returned 51% since they went public in 2018. Those are Kathy Wood's top 10 holdings, which means that those are the companies that she has the most faith in, in terms of long-term growth. But what about the companies that she's super excited about right now? According to her latest filing, some of Kathy Wood's most recent stock purchases are DraftKings, which is one of the most popular online gambling apps. Online gambling is incredibly popular already and is on a strong path to becoming legal in all 50 states. CareDx, which is a healthcare company that's reimagining the way that organ transplants work. And Beam Therapeutics, which is an up-and-coming genetic medicine company. Their technology allows them to make permanent, specific edits to single bases in DNA and RNA without cutting the strands. These are all companies that she thinks are good picks for the immediate future. I hope that you've enjoyed this video and learned a few things from one of the most exciting fund managers in the world, Kathy Woods. Please be sure to smash that like button if you haven't already. If you found this video valuable, please be sure to follow the very first link in the video description below and subscribe to my newsletter. By subscribing, you'll receive my most valuable tips for investing, any potential stock picks that I come across, and more informative content similar to what you've just watched. Most importantly, I don't believe in sending automated emails or spamming my subscribers. Instead, you can trust that each email that I send will be filled to the brim with valuable information that's sure to make you a better investor. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it, and we'll see you next time.